Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great day. And if you're in the path of these storms, I hope you're staying safe. Luckily, it has not hit me where I'm at yet, but there's still plenty of time. I have been posting on my community page um, of the storms and trying to keep you guys up to date on tornadoes of where they would be. I've been able to take screenshots and upload those very quickly, but when it comes to videos, it feels like it just takes forever to upload and I was watching down in Texas down by there by Knox City and even uh, more particularly in the Benjamin Texas area I have a sister that lives out there with uh, one of my nieces and one of my nephews and uh, they they went under one tornado warning and got past that and then I noticed on the radar something with the second storm below it. And so I was like, hey, be prepared to go back in the cellar and be safe because I have a funny feeling about the storm. And I was right because it went off tornado warning again. And then um, they started getting reports of a huge tornado um, near Knox City and possibly close to Benjamin, and I'm sitting here going, okay, please, please stay safe, please stay safe, please stay safe, and keeping her updated on this information, and the weather person that I was listening to said, well, now there's people, like, just everyday people, no storm hunters or anything, just everyday people who are out there reporting, hey, there's now multiple huge big tornadoes in the area and this storm is moving slow. It did merge with another storm and it looks like it is about to emerge with a third storm. So it's about three storms coming together and they are both, they are all three very powerful and very strong and the one already merged with one. And they've been having a lot of tornado activity in that area. And just north of Oklahoma City, there's been a lot of tornado activity. And I noticed that there was um, there was something funny going on where there where the indar where the radar was detecting uh, tornadoes, and yet. There were no warnings or anything else. And some people say, well, you know, sometimes it doesn't mean there, there's a tornado. But, I mean, the, the radar was clearly, clearly indicating that there was a tornado. And so, I didn't know. But the uh, National Weather Service put out a thing saying that they weren't getting all the information or uh, expect delays on... Um, warning signs and different things and to just kind of basic basically it felt like they were saying hey you're on your own for figuring out if there's a tornado you need to have like multiple different indicators you can't just rely on one source and here's the thing they put I don't know if y'all can read that, but that's the warning that they... I screenshotted it and put it up here for you guys. That way you guys could see and know what's going on. And every chance that I have gotten to keep you guys updated on tornadoes, I have screenshotted the weather app and just try to keep you guys as updated as I possibly could. Um... Uh, and those storms from Texas are going to be moving into the Oklahoma area. And I'm just hoping you guys will stay alert. Even if you're not in the tornado area right now, that does not mean you are out of the clear. Because there are still, it looks like from the radar, there are more uh, storms develop, developing in Texas that have the potential to be super strong. Um... So we just need to keep our eyes on, keep our eyes on it. And we need to stay in prayer for these people. And I've noticed that, you know, 
I think it's up in Kansas. There are some tornadoes up there. I believe it's Kansas. That could be wrong. But somewhere north of there is tornadoes. So this, this has got a lot of people on their toes today. And this will come and follow into tonight. Um, according to my my information, we will probably be fully out of the clear at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, hold on in for a bumpy night. And then you got to realize there's other things going on in the world too. So, right now my main focus is shifted to try to watch these storms. And I've got plenty of friends and family in the path of these storms that I am trying to help keep informed. So... I'm trying to focus on the problem in front of me and we've got other watchmen and watchwomen that are working really hard to uh, pay attention to what is going on um, with the other things around the world and I need to cut this video short so hopefully it'll upload within a couple of hours. Alright, hope you guys stay safe. Bye y'all.